Katie Erickson only has to drive a few minutes from home before she's surrounded by wind turbines. We just want to do everything in our power to put a stop to this. Eight new wind turbines are going up near Erickson's house. Like a growing number of people, she's worried they can cause illness, everything from headaches to insomnia to stress. People should have a say in whether or not they want to live near one of these. Erickson people appealed the project, family. and that sparked these hearings, Canada's first into the effects of wind power on human health, trying to determine if the sound or vibration from turbines can make people sick. Dr. Bob McMurtry is here for the anti-wind power side. He's the former dean of medicine at the University of Western Ontario. He wants a full study into why some people living beside turbines feel so ill. The key things that are most unusual is that they feel this when they're at home. When they go away, they get better. When they return, they're worse. One third of all of Canada's wind turbines are in Ontario. In fact, wind power is growing faster here than in any other part of the country. But as the numbers increase, so do the protests. Stop the wind turbines. Protests forced the Ontario government to recently back down from building wind turbines offshore. But it says the ones on land are fine because they're spaced properly. There's about 40 years worth of scientific data about the relationship of onshore wind and human health. That's the information that we uh, used to set the most stringent setbacks in North America when it comes to wind turbines and neighboring properties. This environmentalist says the fight over wind power is really a fight over change. In some ways, this really is a litmus test in terms of what society is willing to do uh, to, to curb some of the, the catastrophic effects of climate change. For now, Katie Erickson is keeping a close watch on the turbines going up behind her house, hoping her case will make sure that others aren't built anywhere near people. Margot McDermott, CBC News, Chatham, Ontario.